Hi guys and welcome back to my channel at home with Shell and to another B&M haul. I've been to B&M a couple of times recently so thought that I would sit down, film this haul, share everything that I got with you because I've got some fab bargains in there um, and I've been in a couple of times. I've got my receipts as well. I made sure that I found my receipts before I started filming so I can tell you how much everything cost as well. I love going to B&M, um, so many amazing bargains in there. So I've got lots of bits from cleaning things, um, lots of snack ideas, which are perfect, especially if you're following Slimming World. So I've got loads of Slimming World friendly and low calorie snack ideas. Um, I've got some Easter bits, a few storage bits, but a bit of everything really so I really hope that you enjoy this haul if you are new to my channel then I do quite a lot of hauls so I would love for you to subscribe and yeah if you do enjoy it then please give it a thumbs up because it really helps out my channel so I'll start with some of the um, kind of cleaning bits that I got in there. So I actually cannot wait to get on and start my spring cleaning. I'm probably going to start my spring cleaning early March. Um, and the way I'm going to tackle it is to basically do a room every single week um, just to have a real deep clean of it. Um, I'll try and make a bit of a spring clean series. So if you do like cleaning content, then make sure to subscribe. Um, but one thing that really gets me in the mood is some fresh cleaning products um, so I've picked up some crisp lemon flash this smells incredible so I've been using the um, frosted eucalyptus one which is more of the wintry one so I picked up this now I need to find which receipt I actually <laughs> picked it up on uh, this this one so this was two pounds 49 um, yeah and this will certainly be used a lot in my spring cleaning so I also picked up some Zaflora wipes in there I love these for cleaning I try not to use wipes that often but I like these ones because they're biodegradable um, and they're fantastic just for giving the toilet a quick wipe around or you know just when you need a really quick wipe of a surface um, these are amazing and this is the springtime scent I love that Zaflora do lots of different scents um, and these were $2.99 for $100 108 large wipes um picked up some duck toilet um toilet bleach stuff um that's 89p in there i think that is um i also got some more 1001 carpet fresh if you've watched my cleaning videos before you'll know that i always like to finish off a room with this it just makes it feel so lovely clean and fresh in there and i haven't tried this scent before and this is peony and raspberry so i'm looking forward to trying that and that will be lovely over um over my spring cleaning and how much was this one mm -mm 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 -mm. so this one was one pound 89 in there um then i got some lenore outdoorable i absolutely love lenore outdoorable i um, just seem to be going through all the different flavors um flavors scents <laughs> um i really like all of them it's it's got such a strong scent to it as well um and just yeah smells incredible and you don't really need much of the outdoorable ones as well so this was 2.99 in there um I always buy my um, cleaning products in there. Obviously, I had to get some Zaflora. I'm actually running low on Zaflora, so I thought I would get more of a spring one. And this one is Mandarin and Lime. I don't think I've tried this one, so looking forward to trying this one. And this one was £2.29 for that. Um, and then just a couple more kind of smelly cleaning bits that I got in there. I got the Febreze um, plugins that you get in there. So this was a two pack. This was actually such a good price in there. So these often by themselves, just for one, are uh, around four or five pounds. But I had, they had a two pack in there for six pounds, which I thought was really good value. Um, and this is Exotic Bloom and it just smells like so florally and spring-like as well so yeah when i'm doing my spring cleaning i'll be plugging a couple of those in and then for the bathroom i got the a double pack of febreze bathroom air fresheners just to put in the bathroom um and these are in peony and cedar so again a really kind of spring summer floral scent um these ones were how much were these these ones were three pounds 49 so that's the majority of the cleaning stuff. And then the only other thing cleaning wise that I picked up is the Scrub Daddy Dish Daddy. So I've debated getting this for quite a while because I think it was quite expensive. Um, it was definitely, yeah, it was 5 pounds which is a lot more expensive than the um, 
oh, what are they called? The dishmatics. However, sometimes the dishmatics annoy me because when you're scrubbing with it, it just keeps coming out whatever solution you've got in there. But what I liked about this is, is that you actually press the button, um, not the button, I mean, I don't know what it is, but you just basically press this um, and then it will make the solution come out. Um, so I thought that might be quite handy. Um, and yeah, I really like, I use the Scrub Daddy a lot because I like that it can be used hard or soft depending on what you're trying to clean. And this also, let me show you here as well. This also has like a built-in scraper. So I thought this would be ideal for maybe like cleaning the oven, which is one job that I definitely need to do this spring i feel like i've been putting it off for so long i did a big really big oven clean before christmas and then haven't done it since and it is getting quite disgusting i have to admit and i keep putting it off but i definitely need to do it so maybe this will come in useful when i'm giving the um oven a good clean um kind of storage wise i've got a few storage bits in there um so this was in their special buy section um and it's an over the door storage caddy so i thought this would be ideal either under the kitchen sink or i've got um like a little cupboard underneath where my bathroom sink is as well so i'm not sure i might put it in one of them but i thought this would be ideal for putting like sponges or flannels in um and it's probably space that you wouldn't normally use as well so i love things like that that you can just put things in where the space would normally go and utilized um yeah and two pounds that was which i just thought was such a good price um then another thing that i got which i will probably put in the shower again i thought this would be ideal for um i often like wash my face with flannels and i only really like to use a flannel once um but then i kind of have nowhere to put them until they need washing so i thought maybe if i could put this in the shower and then put my used flannels in here to basically store in here until I'm, I come to wash them um, and that was two pounds which again I thought was a really good price but you could you could put whatever you want in there and I like the fact that it's a suction one as well so you don't need to obviously be drilling into tiles or anything like that um, I also got this oh everything's dropping <laughs> I also got this um, special jar, um, special jar, I also got this jar in the special buy section, which was two pounds. And I think this is a really good price. I've seen these in a few places for nearly 10 pounds for a glass jar like this. And I'm not sure where I'm going to put this. There's a couple of options that I've got. So I might put it, I've got a shelf in my kitchen. Um, it's just above the coffee machine. And I thought it might look really nice, um, you know, to put like little biscotti biscuits skits or something like that in it and create like a bit of a, a coffee area or alternatively I've got um like I use the bath salt so I might fill this with bath salts um and use it for that and put it in the bathroom but yeah I thought for two pound how many uses has that got I mean you could literally use it you know if it were rice flour they had loads of different size ones as well so they had this one then they had a much bigger one a medium one and then they had a smaller one as well but yeah I thought that was an amazing price for two pounds um what else did I get in the special buy section I also got this soft touch bath pillow with suction two pounds so this was only two pounds as well i've actually wanted a bath pillow for ages i am definitely a bath type person don't get me wrong i love a shower for convenience but there is nothing nicer than just relaxing in a warm bath so i'm the kind of person who's always busy i don't really sit still ever i'm always doing something so for me the only time that i ever just truly relax is in the bath um so yeah i thought i would buy this bath pillow and i'm really excited to try it so i presume that you just um you just blow it up with your mouth i presume um and then suck it in and attach it to the bath so yeah two pounds i thought that was really good so i'm looking forward to using that um and having a nice rela that relaxing bath um i got this folding peg area so i have been wanting this for ages if you've watched my hauls before probably from last year I always used to try and find one of these and can never find one. Loads of people commented telling me to go in B&M. My B&M never had one. It was so frustrating. Honestly, I couldn't believe how hard it was for me to find something like this to hold your underwear and socks on. And finally, I saw it for £4, um, especially now the weather's getting a, li a lot nicer so we can hang the washing out a lot more. Um, so yeah, this is ideal for 
yeah, four pounds hanging my underwear and socks on. Um, what else did I get? Then I got a few kind of Easter bits. The only other thing I got really um, were just some pens. These were also from the special buy section, so I thought Arabella would enjoy these. Um, so it's a 20 pack of gel pens for only £2.50. Um, and then Easter wise, so they've got quite a few Easter bits in now. My store didn't have as much as I've seen some other stores have had. Um, but I definitely got a few little bits in there anyway. So when, sorry, my camera just ran out of battery and I hadn't realised. So I was nattering away and then realised the screen had gone blank. Um, so I've just changed the battery quickly. So I was just showing you the Easter decoration. So as I was saying, they didn't have as much in my store as they have in other stores. Um, but I got this make your own Easter decorations kit. So in here, you've got some felt eggs, some bunnies in a nest, some little bunnies, some little chicks. Um, and I just think my daughter will absolutely love of that so she is turning four in March and she's really getting into like crafting and everything at the moment um and that was uh three pounds so yeah she will love that I'm going to make her like her own little kind of like Easter craft kit um I'm, so I'm collecting lots of things and I'll probably film a bit of a what's in my kids Easter basket and a bit of an Easter haul in the next couple of weeks as well because I've got loads of stuff from loads of different shops to share with you um then I also got these paper straws um so i got these for christmas as well and i thought she would love these um we normally have like family and stuff come round over easter so it'll be nice to get these out um and it's a 20 pack of paper straws so they're these really nice colors as well they're like a, a lilac um they're like lilac lemon and light pink color with little bunnies on a 20 pack of straws for two pounds and then i got oh, I've battered the um Oh, I'm dropping everything. <laughs> um, although I've battered the, the box here. I got a 20 pack of decorative Easter eggs. So we'll probably use these for actually just decorating for Easter. I am one of those people who um, just decorates for different seasons. So I'll decorate at Halloween. Um, I'll decorate for, you know, just autumn in general. I'll decorate at Easter as well. Um, so I think these will just look really nice. I might even display them like in a bowl in the kitchen or something. And then when it's actually Easter, Easter and um, we'll do like a little Easter egg hunt on the day so I can you know just kind of put these around as well because I'm definitely not getting her chocolate again because last year she had so much she didn't even eat it all um, but yeah I thought these were so pretty um, for six pounds and again these are something that you can use every single year time and time again um, and then I got this pack of mini eggs um, so, oh no, I said I wasn't getting her chocolate, but I did also buy these. Um, so these are actually 10 treat size bags in there as opposed to a big one, but these worked out cheaper. So how much were these? These were 3 99 However, I can't remember the grams on these. How many grams did you get in here? So you got 385 grams, um, whereas in the other one, I think you got 270 for 3 99 So it actually worked out cheaper to buy 10 treat size bags than it did to buy a big bag. Um, so I've actually got some like glass um, kind of bunny things that I might fill these with or alternatively they're ideal for a little treat and I might include these in the Easter egg um, hunt as well. That's if they last until Easter, which let's be honest, they probably won't, will they? <laughs> um, and then next I've just got loads of snacky bits. So if you've watched some of my other videos and you might know that I'm following Slimming World and I find B&M super handy for their snacks. They're really low priced and you can get lots of different options in there. So I just thought I'd share some um, of the options with you. So I've got these Twix fingers. So you just get one finger and you get nine of these in here. They're 99 calories or five sins if you are following Slimming World. Also great for kids as well because they're not like a huge chocolate bar. Um, then I got these in there. These are only 99p for a pack of eight. Um, I've never tried them before, but thought we would try them, and I think Arabella would like these. Um, so they're called Cookie Bears, and yeah, you get two different flavours, so you get chocolate chip and honey flavoured little biscuits in individually wrapped packets in there, and I thought that was really good for eight an eight pack of these for, yeah, like 99p. Um, 
Then I always stock up on the skinny bars when I'm in there. I absolutely love the skinny bars. They're such a great treat if you are following like a low calorie diet or you're following Slimming World. They are honestly so tasty and they do so many different flavours. They're high in fibre. So I got the chocolate fudge and the salted caramel. And how much were these? Let me just double check how much what they were actually. So these are one pound as well, which is a fairly good price. You get five in there, so I only work out at you know 25p each. And they are only 70 calories per bar. And I think these work out at around three and a half sins, which is ideal for a low sin snack. But they also give you that kind of chocolate hit as well. Um, I just got these to have in because pasta and sauces are really handy for a quick lunch or even a quick dinner um, on Slimming World. Um, these are, so they're only 200 calories and I think the majority of these are around one to two sins each. Um, then, I'm definitely going to drop things here. <laughs> then another snack that I really enjoy is popcorn. So there's different popcorns that you can get. This is the toffee one. So this one is slightly higher in calories than the other one, but still only 85 calories. So, I mean, what's that? Just over four sins for a packet of popcorn, which again is a really nice treat mid-afternoon when you just want something, when you're just craving something a little bit sweeter. Um, and that's only one pound in there for a pack of six. And then also another go-to are Snacker Jacks. I love Snacker Jacks, it's like a little bag of crisps. Um, I find they're quite light as well, but do also fill you up. Um, so a five pack in here, obviously individually wrapped. 78 calories per pack. So again, these are around four sins a pack if you're following Slimming World. I love the salt and vinegar ones and they're much cheaper in B&M than in the supermarket. Um, and then what else did I get kind of snack wise? I got, um, so again, like the pasta and sauces, but this one is actually in the carton and I thought this would just be handy for the days where I'm running around and maybe in the office and haven't got time for lunch. So, you know, can just add water to this um, and it's a super quick lunch and it just means that then I'm not reaching for something too unhealthy. Um, and then also got the Hartley's sugar-free jelly. Um, these are ideal. I eat jelly pots all the time. The 10 calorie ones because they're just so, they're such a low sin snack. Um, but they are really expensive. So for one of them, they're about 80p. Um, and this twin pack was one pound. And I think each one makes around four jellies. So I thought this was a much more cheaper, was a much, so I thought this was a much cheaper way of making up the jellies. Um, and then I think that's about it. Or the only other food thing I bought, um, I just, um, Milky Bar mini eggs. So these were one pound 29 in B&M. And yeah, that's just to kind of go, I won't be eating them probably, but then that can go with the Easter stuff as well. So that is everything that I picked up in B&M. I hope that you found this haul useful. Like I said, I'll be starting my spring cleaning very soon. So if you're interested in that, then make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload my videos. Um, yeah, and as always, thank you so much for watching. I do really appreciate it. And hopefully I'll see you all next time. Bye.